morning, all you sexy cats. I'm Jennifer Agnog, reporting for Channel 75321 News, and today is a very special day because I will be reporting a story that I've worked very hard on and <sighs> getting input from our producer, Jim. <laughs> Hi, Jim. <laughs> what? Jim, you said this was supposed to be my day for my story. Well, it appears we've had a mix-up with the stories and who's reporting them and who's trained in reporting. <laughs> so, we will be taking a brief break to cut to some breaking news from Mayo Coldridge about a birthday. Take it away, Mayo. It's actually Maya Claridge. Um, thanks, Jennifer, for giving me that lovely introduction. And I am here to talk about my mom's birthday, Susan Claridge. So I prepared a little poem that I thought would be great to be read on national news to honor my mother on her 50th birthday. <clears throat> Daisies are white. Mom's always right. The sky is blue. These are all true. Oh, that was clever. How long that take you? <clears throat> However, there will never be a truth as complete. You've been and will be the bestest mommy this world will ever meet. Oh, brought tears to my eyes. Thanks. <laughs> so, as you party on this day, I have lots of things to say. No one else could work and play the same as you, your special way. No one else could be so kind, nurture bodies, souls, and minds, the way you do and do so well. Caring, thoughtful, fiery as hell. Beautiful. The thing that can't be matched is the blessing that is mom. You're my light, you're my everything, Ellie Wom. I love you, mom. Happy 50th birthday. Well, Mayo, is it? That was just beautiful. <laughs> this has been Jennifer Eggnog signing off. I still hate my job. Mother. Mother, 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 it is your birthday. And I don't know if I'm gonna be there, uh, depending on if Logan gets tested positive. So we're gonna go from there. However, either way, happy birthday. I love you very much. And I just wanna say thank you for everything you do for me, like make me food and help me with some chores occasionally. And uh, you know, um, just schoolwork and letting me hang out with friends all the time and letting me be free a little bit and also telling me some of your evil teenage stories so I don't feel as devilish. Um, but yeah, I love you very much and happy birthday. Well, darling daughter, happy birthday. You've reached a big milestone. You've become a mini adult. And just think how fast it has all happened. You know, it's easy to say and tell you how much we love you. I think you already know that. And how very, very proud of you we are and always have been. I'm hoping that you know that. But when I think of you, when I think of Susan, two things come to mind. First is fun. You have always, always been fun. And secondly, the one word I think that describes you best is exceptional. Because I know of no one else who can do and does what you can do and what you do do and do so well. So happy birthday, darling. I hope I'm around to see and say that times many more. Love you. Bye bye. Happy birthday, Susan. Um. Boy, I'm kind of like dad. When I think of you, what I think of, the first word that comes to my mind is funny. You've always been funny and a thinker. When you were little, I remember I was trying to teach you to be, to apply the golden rule when some girls were being mean to you. And you sat there and thought for a while and then you said, well, they must want me to be mean to them because they're being mean to me. <laughs> I had no comeback for that. <laughs> The other thing I, th I think when I, 
I picture when I think of you is thoughtful. You're so thoughtful. You're always the first one to jump in and fix meals or, or help in the, in the house or do whatever needs to be done. You're, you're thoughtful with other people. You're sensitive um, and you're creative. <laughs> we all know how creative you are. You, you write novels. You can build a whole town with just a hot knife, a hot glue gun, and some boards. So I just want you to know, and I'm sure you already know this, that Dad and I are so proud of you. Proud of the woman that you've become because, you know, sometimes you love people, but you don't like them. But I love you, and I like you a lot. You are a lot of fun, Susan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Susan. Uh, happy 50th. Love you. Um, hope you have a good day on your birthday, which is the t next week in a couple of days. But I'm sending you a message to say I love you. And I'll see you soon and have a drink with you. Don't trip. Hot mess. Hi. Happy 50th birthday. We've put together a little alphabet of adjectives for you describing who you are and who you have been to us. So, happy birthday to our adventurous, beautiful, creative, devoted, enthusiastic, funny, gifted, hospitable, imaginative, jubilant, kind-hearted, loving, musical, neat, outspoken, playful, quirky, resourceful, spirited, talented, unique, vivacious, warm-hearted, zenial, young at heart, zealous sister. So, may you go forth into this new chapter with joy and peace. May you have expectancy in your heart. And may the goodness and the mercy of the Lord chase you down. Happy 50th birthday from Keizu and The Lou. Welcome to the 50s Club, Susan. We love you. Hello, Susan. It's Dr. Evil and my lovely ass assistant, a lot of vagina. We're here in my secret lair and heard that you're having a birthday. So we wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. And in spite of all the wonderful things your aunt and uncle have said, we have known that you consorted with the evil Austin powers. And so, unfortunately, we must eliminate you. Have a lovely birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Susan. Susan! We love you! A birthday video. Well, you remind me so much of Melanie from the movie Gone with the Wind. Your gentle spirit, your soft-spoken manner, and your, what, what? Oh, this is for Susan. Oh, I am so sorry. Okay, let me start over again. <clears throat> you remind me so much of the character Scarlett O'Hara from the movie Gone with the Wind. Actually, all kidding aside, the fact is that you remind me of absolutely no one. You are a character in and of your own. When I come to your house, I feel like I've been transported into some magical kingdom with so many terrific neighborhoods. You are one of a kind, strong, smart, talented, beautiful, wonderful wife and mother, and the protector of those who I love and hold near and dear in my heart. You are a very special woman that I love and appreciate more than you will ever know. You are such a blessing to me and to this family and to everyone that you meet. Happy 50th birthday. I love you. Happy birthday, Susan. We're so sorry we couldn't meet you in person. We are happy to come out there any time that you want us to come. We just think you're a wonderful mother and you've been a fantastic sister-in-law and you're the best hostess for parties that we've ever seen. So, Marcus, can you say hello? Hello. 
birthday. <laughs> All right, we love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aunt Susan. Hope it's a good one. Happy birthday, Susan. Big 5-0. We're so sad we can't be there. We love you. We miss you. Have a wonderful day. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Susan. And Rosie. And Rosie. We love you. And we love being around you. And we think you are an incredible mother. We wish you the absolute It's my best. favorite thing about you is watching you cheer and support Kale and Maya. And also all of the amazing things that you create with your hands. Thanks for always feeding us and sending us home with leftovers. Yeah. Have such a special day. We love you. Love you. Hey, Susan. Happy birthday. We just wanted to tell you thanks for being such a great sister-in-law to Kimi and I and a great aunt to these two. Uh, we miss you. Uh, thanks for all your hospitality and always making us feel welcome over the years. Um, so happy 50th. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Love you. Hey, Say happy birthday, Susan. Happy birthday, Susan. Say happy birthday, Susan. <laughs> Happy birthday, Susan. <laughs> Hi, Susan, happy birthday. Sorry we couldn't be there this time, but we want to let you know we love you. Thank you for all that you've done for this world and many, many more things to come. Hey, Susan, I wanted to say happy birthday and for your 50th, I have written down the 50 things that I like about you. Number one, there isn't anything in this world that you cannot accomplish. Number two, your passion inspires everyone around you to be better versions of themselves. Number three, I really, really, really like, sorry about that, due to time constraints, they had to cut me off. But as an author, you understand that your untold stories are what empower you the most. Because of that, I've written something just for you. You may have made a wrong turn once or twice, but you dug your way out. Made some bad decisions, but that's all right. Welcome to this silly life. At times you're mistreated, misplaced, misunderstood, but you never let it slow you down. After all, you're still around. So pretty, 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 pretty please don't ever feel like you're anything less than perfect. Huxley out. Happy birthday, Susan. Hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, Susan. We love you and we miss you. And we hope to see you soon. And we hope your 50th birthday is amazing and wonderful. And everything comes true for the next 50 years of your life that you want to have happen. Happy birthday. Hi, Susan. Well, 50th birthday is the time when all the bad stuff is behind you, all the hard work, yes. and from here on, it's just fun and enjoying life. It gets better every day, and yes. we only better thing would be better if we were there celebrating with you. And I must give you a little clue, just because you've reached the half century mark just means that the best is coming, the best part is you can get away with a whole lot more and people tend to just sort of think you're a little eccentric, which is a lot more fun. <laughs> so anyway, since we're not there, we're with you in spirit and we're starting our little celebration. Yeah, a little early. champagne. Yeah. Pop the cork in your honor. In your honor. honor. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, a little bubbly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. <laughs> you wait, Susan Claridge, on an empty stage for 50 to turn your light on. Your life, Susan Claridge, is a full page that friends still want to ride on. To ride on. You are 49 going on 50, Susan. It's time to think. Better beware, don't fall or be careless. Susan, you're on the brink. 
You are 49, going on 50. Cash better fall in line. Eager, young Maya, and Cole better find ya lots of food and wine. You need someone older and wiser telling you what to do. Cash is older, maybe not wiser. He'll take care of you. And happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Susan. Happy birthday, sweet Susan. This is take five. <laughs> We couldn't manage to get it all together here, but we love you so much and we wanted to wish you the happiest decade and happiest birthday year yet. You are such a bright light and a treasure in this world and, and we are honored and grateful to be able to call you our friend and my mentor with my book. Thank you so much for all of your help and thank you for being the bright light that you are that makes the world a better place for all of us. We love, love you. Love you, Susan. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Susan, uh, I just wanted to remark about the first time I saw you out in a tall grass field playing softball with your family at uh, Gary and Jerry's previous ranch. Uh, I came to the conclusion of where your children got their sporting abilities because uh, after watching you throw a baseball and hit a baseball, and take a dive into the weeds to catch a baseball, a fly ball that the cash had hit. I was very impressed with your sporting ability. Plus, I guess you have a lot of other abilities too. So anyway, happy birthday. Have a great day. Happy birthday. What we love about Susan is that nothing is impossible to her. Happy birthday, Susan. Happy birthday. We love you. Susan. Happy birthday, we're social distancing, but we wanna say just a couple things about you. Craig? Susan, it's been a pleasure to have known you since you were a young person. I think probably other than your mom, your dad, your sister, and Lee, I've probably known you the longest. So in that vein, I wanna wish you the happiest of 50th birthdays that you could <laughs> ever have and enjoy your special day with your family. Happy birthday. Uh, on my part, I haven't known you all that long, but I would like to salute your accomplishments. You're an accomplished writer, I admire that. You're an amazing chef, and an amazing mother and wife, and other than that, you have a smile that will, you know, knock just about everybody over. So, saying all of that, Cheers. Happy birthday. To you. We're sorry we'll miss it, but we'll see you on the 12th. And happy, happy birthday. Hey, Susan, Judy and Denny here. And we heard that there's a special event going on out in Colorado. And we wanted to at least participate this way. Uh, if you were here, you know what we would have you be doing? You would be doing the 50... Um, the obstacle course for 50 year olds and of course we would furnish a whistle and a clipboard for your dad so that he could keep tabs and we know that you would uh, do well because you were always so athletic we miss you we know you're going to have a lot of fun and uh just happy birthday to you and what do you say papa happy birthday susan now 50 years wow 50 years now <laughs> get this the first take of this he said 50th anniversary which tells you how old we're getting <laughs> bye can you see susan age lost in the valley of the night it is the aging of a queen who is climbing to the light for the wretched arp is chasing after thee it's the future that she brings when tomorrow comes happy, happy birthday, birthday suzanne. suzanne hey suzanne i hope you have a wonderful 50th and it's a great year for you uh, there's no doubt in my mind that it will be and um thank you so much you've just always been such a great friend and uh, even that first night at cherry creek overnight acting experience for me you were so inclusive and just made me feel so at home and that's given me a lot of confidence <laughs> in the actor's world so 
Um, anyway, love you. I just want to say how supported I am that you've been there, you know, for me and have been a support system the last, last few years, especially. Um, and we just hope, we hope you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Susan. I'm super, super thankful for all the, that you do for me and countless breakfasts in the morning, helping me with my school and let me sleep over all the time. I'm super thankful. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Susan. The Suze, the Jewish mom who's always trying to feed somebody. Um, usually turns out to be me, which I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with. But um, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of both your children's lives. And in turn, that's allowed me to be around you and see um, the wonderful mother that you are and just the wonderful person that you are. You're so loving even to people that you just meet. I know from the moment I met you, you have been so, you've been so nice and so caring. Um, and I'm just really thankful for that. So thank you for allowing me to be an extended part of your family. So happy birthday. I hope you have a great day and we will, we will whip it up. Love you. Happy birthday, Susan. Thank you for everything you've ever done for me. You're like my second mother and I appreciate you. Hi Susan, happy birthday. You are amazing and you have made such an impact on my life and that does not have anything to do with me but the fact that you find a way to connect with anyone and everyone that you cross paths with whether it works out or not. Um, you touch people's lives and you take care of everyone and for as long as I've known you, you've just taken care of all of us and you feed all of us constantly. So thanks for being a great cook and thank you for impacting everyone's lives as positively as you do. You're amazing and it has been an honor to know you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Susan. I hope you have the best day, even though it's a COVID birthday. I know you guys will celebrate hard in the Claridge family. Um, I miss you a lot. I miss your whole family. And thank you so much for being so nice and kind to me while I was in Colorado. You are the best, and I hope you have the best day. Hi! Happy birthday! It's me, Zachary. Um, Zachary Garcia. Uh, uh, let me sing you happy birthday in the style of Marilyn Monroe. <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. I hope that you had the best birthday ever. And I'm sure it was awesome because um, your whole family was home. I mean, they had to be because of quarantine. Um, I can't wait to see you in August. I'm still coming. I'm still planning on coming down, even if Margaritaville Bash isn't happening. Um, we'll have our own mini Margaritaville Bash. It'll be so fun. Okay. Happy birthday. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Hi, Susan. Happy hey. 50th birthday. Happy birthday. We love you so much. Yes. You mean the world to us. And we just want to say how much um, joy you've brought to our lives and how much fun we have whenever we're with you. And it kind of sucks that we haven't seen you for very long. So hopefully we'll get to see you soon. Yeah. And uh, we hope you have an amazing birthday. And thanks, Mom, thank too, you. for being in our lives. And thanks for taking care of us. Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you guys. Hey, Susan. Sorry I'm sweaty. Just got back from a good old football practice. Um, just wanted to say happy birthday, Ace. It's party hard, okay? And I uh, just wanted to say thanks for being like a second mom to me. It's pretty dope. And letting me and your son be uh -huh, kind of stupid sometimes. But we know you love us. And... Thanks for giving us so much freedom. It's pretty dope. So, shouts out to the real OG. Love you. Happy birthday. A big happy birthday to you, Susan. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of your family. Take care of that little guy, Kale. 
and take care of that big guy, Cash. He's the one that really needed it. And that's really why I injected myself into your family. All because of that husband of yours. He's the real child. He's the one that needs a mentor. But enough about him. It's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. And I hope you have a beautiful 30th. That's a big one. But just wait until you hit 50. Then things get rough. Hello, Susan. Happy birthday from the Seifkin family. We're excited to celebrate your birthday with you. It's been nearly a decade that we've been able to see you and your kids and your family evolve. And we're excited to be a part of the next phase as well. Happy birthday and hope you uh, enjoy the, uh, the week and the day. See you on the ball field. Take care. Happy birthday, Susan. Nativity here. Sorry, I'm filming this in the car, but you of all people, where I met you, you know how this life is and we love it. So I met Susan through um, baseball, back when Vince played baseball, oh my gosh, but that was like the best year ever. And I was introduced to your family who we absolutely adore um, with Kale and Vince's friendship. I have absolutely cherished that even though they um, don't get to see each other all the time. You, Cash, and Maya, and obviously your parents um, absolutely adore them. So I am so grateful to have been a part of your life um, and so happy for you and your birthday. Um, you are an amazing, amazing, amazing woman, and I am super grateful to um, ha have you in our lives and have been introduced to you through our lovely busy life of sports and whatnot and I hope that we can continue to stay connected throughout the rest of our journey with our kids. Happy birthday lady! Happy happy birthday to you Susan. I can't believe you're 50 the big 5-0 and you look like you're 30. You're beautiful. I remember the first time that we met uh, one of the first Blitz games and you have such a beautiful smile. It's a contagious smile and um, you have just been such an inspiration over the years and um, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and thank you for your friendship. I know we don't see each other as much uh, over the years now but uh, Blitz was such an important part of our lives and our boys lives. and. I think it uh, was a great uh, starting point for, for, for the boys. So um, happy birthday. I wish you the best and um, hope to see you soon. Bye. Susan, happy birthday. We're excited to celebrate this with you. Um, I'm going to do something that we do for all our family members. Um, and so I um, hope you like it. You guys are a musical family, um, but um, just set your expectations correctly here um, and then uh, hope it's a great day and year for you and we want to thank you for always including us in Maya's uh, concert and music um, events that Maddie has come to and really enjoyed so uh, thank you for doing that and here is your happy birthday song I'm not singing it I don't think so here we go though <laughs> Hi Susan, back in Casper. Hopefully we can make it back to the party on Sunday night. Happy 50th, we miss you. Hope you have a great time. Happy birthday Susan, thanks for all you do for the boys. Happy 50th. Happy birthday to my most favorite Donald Trump fan. Susan, happy birthday. Now you're really old. Hey Susan, happy 50th from Sharon, Max and the girls. We hope you have the happiest of birthdays. Just remembering all the good times we had in the hood, all the fun, the laughter, hanging out in the driveways, you doing different crazy things with cardboard. Hope you have a happy 50th. Hope it's everything you want it to be. Hope to see you more in this next chapter of our lives. Take care, friend. Love you. Thank you. 
Hi Susie, uh, happy birthday. Um, I get 30 to 60 seconds and I have no idea how I could cram all of our years of fun into that time, but here goes. Uh, first of all, I'm filming it in front of the dollhouse, as you remember from our childhood, the dollhouses, can't forget those. Um, but you were my very first birth best friend, and I remember walking back and forth across the meadow, and the first sleepovers, um, roller skating in the basements, um, playing in the woods and in the creek, jumping on the bushes because we thought that was fun. Um, the tree houses we made because we each got our own branch and we even pulled out carpet to put under the tree because that was the living room. Um, also remember swimming with hunk of meat. Um, not sure why we called him hunk of meat, but it was hunk of meat. Um, playing Peter Pan and the bowl of mush from Captain Hook, which I'm sure Tammy put there and I'm not sure exactly what was in the bowl of mush, but I remember the bowl of mush. Um, of course, the frozen caramels with the hot water. You can never forget that. And ultimately, Greece, a reenactment of Greece from the beginning of the soundtrack to the end of the soundtrack. And my parents, we provided them with popcorn and soda and all the costume changes. I should have known you were going to be an actress then. Um, but all the reenactment of Greece, those are fond, fond memories. So happy birthday, Susie. Happy 50th. You're part of the 50 Club now, so I hope you have a great birthday, and I wish I could be there, but know that I am with you in spirit and in my heart. I love you, Susie. Happy birthday to my sweet friend and dear neighbor always, Miss Susie. 50th birthday. I wish we could uh, be together and we could cheers one another, have a couple of drinks, and celebrate our lifelong friendship. I have so many wonderful memories and I was joking around with Cash saying that, oh my gosh, 50, I could definitely talk 50 minutes about uh, the adventures that I've had with Miss Susie over the years. So um, have a wonderful day. God bless you. Um, just stay you, shine in your own light. I wish you nothing but happiness and good health. And um, I had so many stories that I could have could have told, but I will save those for when we're actually in person and we can reminisce together. So, because I'm thinking that family and friends will be watching this and um, I want to be, you know, kind and respectful about that. So go St. Louis Cardinals and St. Louis Blues Hockey and I miss you and love you and I wish that you were sitting right here on the front porch with me and uh, we could be celebrating together. So God bless you, sweetheart. I love you and give hugs and kisses to your family. Bye. Happy birthday. Susan, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from the Lou. Happy birthday to you. Ha ha, I just made that up. Um, yeah, I think this is fun and fantastic that Cash and the kids are putting this video together for you. And I feel very, very honored that I was asked to um, participate. So, um, happy 50th birthday, and I just want to point out that you are about three or four weeks older than me. Ha! Love you. Happy birthday. Can't be a good birthday video without a picture from 1987 when we went to uh, junior prom. Um, hi. Hi from St. Louis. Um, it's your old pal, Kev. Uh sure wish I was there to be able to help celebrate your birthday um, but alas um, the pandemic happened um, so anyway I hope your day is filled with a lot of love and I hope it's filled with a lot of joy for you I hope uh, the friends and family that are around you celebrate you um, you are a very necessary person on this planet I am so glad that you are a part of my universe even though we we drift apart uh, every so often when we reconnect, it's just like it was back in the day. Um, and uh, I'll never forget sitting on the hill of your house um, and just talking. And uh, anyway, um, I'm not sure what else to say. And I just hope you have a great day. You deserve it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Susan. Welcome to the 50 Club. 50 years old. 
half a century, five decades. Of those five decades, I believe I have known you close to four of them. And thinking back uh, over the time I've known you, I gotta say brings a huge smile to my face. As I think about all the times at Limerick High School and in drama club and the different shows we were in together, uh, hanging out around South County, uh, hanging out of a summer evening there at Spanky's, uh, bothering you when you probably should have been working. Um, all are extremely fond memories in my mind. Um, loading you into a trunk of your car and driving around one evening, I believe is another fond memory. Uh, the parties at your house were always a lot of fun. Uh, I believe that's where I learned that um, when making a screwdriver, with powdered tang, one should add water to the powdered tang, not just vodka. Uh, important life lesson. Uh, at any rate, we've had a lot of fun times together, um, shared a lot of laughs and some tears along the way. And one thing I've always known is that uh, you were a great friend. And uh, when I see you, it's the kind of friendship that even though we've been separated by many miles and many years, it's as though we've never left each other's presence. Um, would love to see you again sometime uh, in the near future. But anyway, any rate, you're with your lovely family and uh, celebrating a really big milestone, and I know you will be doing it in style. So, happy birthday, Susan. Hello, Susan. Happy birthday. I love you. I miss you. I hope one day we'll get together again and be able to see each other. California isn't that far away. So until then, we'll see each other on Facebook and get to argue with uh, Trump supporters. I love you. Happy birthday, Susan. I hope you have an amazing day. It's still hard for me to believe. I was 22 when we met and that's how old my kid is now, crazy. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic birthday and know that I'm sending you lots of love. Hello, happy birthday. Thinking back to the times when we first met in California, you were my one friend that I made and just loved and adored. You were my curly Susan. You taught me the love of Liz Claiborne perfume. Happy birthday, Suze. I can't believe you're 50. Um, I know that you will do the 50s with beauty and wisdom and grace and spice and feist and pizzazz that's all your own i hope that you have a fabulous day i love you and um hope that you have the best birthday ever happy birthday susan here's to fabulous and 50. love you so much sending you tons of love and happy birthday wishes from the great white north you say it's your birthday, it's my birthday too, yeah. The only thing is I'm what, 20 years older than you? Oh, wow, through the years. Well, the pictures didn't work out, so. Congratulations on your 50th, Susan. Seriously, that's really great. But that means I was your high school teacher when I was only eight. I knew you first as Tammy's little sister and your dad was our fur baby's vet and your mom I would later love from a glow, but I didn't know you yet. You bounced in sharing your talent on stage with music and drama surpassed, and you also shared with me your drama off stage, like boyfriends present and past, but my lips are sealed forever because you found cash, your love, and your wedding was one like no other and it was blessed by our Father above. Now two great talented children, but may this decade ahead be your best with Christ center stage in your life and your heart. May all scenes that follow be blessed. Seriously, 50s are fabulous, darling. You will love them. God bless you. Glad we've stayed in touch through the years. So proud of you, Susan. I know your family is too. Welcome to your 50s. Happy 50th birthday, Suzy Q, my partner in crime. I think we met freshman year of high school and choir. And from then on out, I think we've had some of the craziest times, craziest pranks. We had the most fun. TP and the Karen boys, 
the time we put a bunch of for sale signs in their yard. And then by the time we got back to my house, they had already been there and put all the for sale signs back in my yard. And I think we about peed on the front yard. Um, doing Union Station, helium highs, blowing up balloons. Walmart, or no, not Walmart, sorry, Walgreens runs that we buy random crap at midnight. Um, Spanky's frozen custard, going to Fashion Gal, buying cheap ass clothes, whatever, with our big earnings from Spanky's. Um, the bad dresses that we bought for homecoming that year and our mothers would not let us buy prom dresses that year without going with us. They were right. Um, getting kicked out of hotel rooms um, and we had tons of beer in the bathtub all the parties at my house that we had, the safe sex party. We had condoms that we gave out. Um, Jim, Dean, Todd, buying all of our booze, um, buying kegs, refilling your parents' liquor cabinet with water in their liquor bottles, um, driving to Rawa, and you didn't even have a driver's license yet, in the middle of the night, and me having to cover up hickeys the next day. Um, <laughs> I could go on and on. I love you and I'm so happy that you were a part of my life all these years. Oh, and the pizza butt in college. Mm, yeah, I could go on and on and on. I love you, have a great birthday. As we round out this Broadway tribute to you, Susan Clarge, how could we forget an old classic? Just like you, you're an old classic. From Dolly Levi. Well, hello, Susan. You are 50, Susan. It's so nice to have you pass the 50 mark. Happy birthday, Susan. Hey, Bella. Happy birthday. Um, I don't know where to start. Um, actually, I do know where to start. Um, I'm so glad you walked in my office in February of 1992. Um, you were beautiful and stunning then, and you're beautiful and stunning now. Um, I. Uh, you know, it's been a whirlwind. Um, we've had a blast. You know, we've had our ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I can't imagine life with anybody besides you. Um, it's just been so much fun. Um, and we have two beautiful, wonderful, talented children. Um, and, uh, you know, I just can't imagine a life with anybody besides you. And, uh, you know, you're, you're sexy, you're funny, you're um, beautiful, you're devoted, you're... Um, you know, you're fiercely loyal to your family. Um, you're a wonderful wife and mother and daughter and a sister and a friend. And I just am um, so happy that we found each other. Um, so happy birthday. I celebrate you, your 50 years. Welcome to the club. And uh, can't wait to do the next 50 with you. I love you with all my heart. Hilly Wam.